Hey everyone, Shin Virtuality here, and today uh, we'll do something a little bit different. Uh, we're going to take a look at Groove Coaster 2. Now, this is by no means a new game. In fact, uh, Groove Coaster 2 original style came back all the way back in 2015. Um, but what I wanted to do here was start something off, uh, and I wanted to see about calling it a retro quick play. Uh, and these are going to be quick plays of games that sort of defined the mobile genre as it was sort of getting its foothold, trying to develop games to sort of be original to the platform that they were premiering on. And I think this is a good example of a music game sort of in that genre. Um, the original Groove Coaster was originally released for Android and Apple way back in 2010, 2011. So the game's been around for a while and it has been ported to all sorts of other devices like arcade, PC, I believe that there is a Switch version uh, available. Uh, so <laughs> Yeah, maybe wherever you look, there may be a Groove Coaster available for for that particular platform. But it did appear on mobile first, and that's what I wanted to sort of do here. So we'll take a look. Uh, we'll take a quick look at some of the menus. Uh, we'll go over the how the game is played, and then what I'll do is I'll probably turn off the mic and just go through some replays that I had just to give you a better idea of sort of like the music selection. Um, how sort of, I guess, uh, easy, difficult, uh, how the gameplay is for arcade uh, normal, which is what I'm sort of mainly sticking with here. And uh, you know what? If you sort of like this particular idea of a retro quick play, uh, let me know. But for now, let's get right into it. So you have your list of songs that you can choose from at varying degrees of difficulty. So nothing new in terms of the genre here. Uh, you do have some missions to sort of complete and they'll do unlocks. Uh, you have a progressive level that will eventually unlock more free songs. Uh, but then, of course, you can go into the shop here and um, there be plenty of stuff that you can actually spend real money on. Um, so, and they all sort of diverse between, uh, what do I want to say? Uh, so, Vocaloid or virtual, um, virtual singers. Uh, we've re just recently had a little bit of that with Hatsune Miku. Uh, you got game uh, music here. You got some sort of um, remix of songs from, I guess, mostly Japan. But uh, I don't know. It seems to have a pretty good selection here. So uh, nothing to uh, speak um, speak badly about. Um, yeah, even includes an Undertale pack. So you get some music from Undertale. So a little bit of that, and it did have something that came out recently, I can't really remember which it is, and if I do remember, maybe I'll post it sort of at the bottom in text, but for now, um, you sort of get the idea. You can spend a lot of money um, getting song packs and just sort of beefing out the game that way, and that's where it sort of makes its revenue from. Um, can't fault it for that because every music game in the in every music game in the genre is ma mainly doing the same thing. So, uh, and then like I said, I'll go through a couple of these songs here. First one, I'll just sort of basically explain how the game is played, uh, and uh, yeah, we'll get into some gameplay and then call it it. Um, just a couple words of warning. Um, since this is a music title, I don't know how favorable it will be when I upload it to YouTube. So um, <laughs> if it sees the light of day, great. If it doesn't or gets removed immediately, uh, copyrights and all that. So can't, uh, can't do anything about that. Uh, and the screen is pretty flashy. So anyone with epilepsy warning is going to be sort of here. And maybe I'll put it in the... Uh, 
uh, description as well. Um, if you're uh, not comfortable with flashing lights, uh, maybe this isn't the video for you because there, I think we'll, there will be a lot of it. So uh, let's get on to the next part. Okay, so the game is played on this, or the song is played on this track, much like a coaster, if you will. Uh, and it's broken down like this. You got your taps, you got your double taps, which are sort of like the star type uh, icons. And then you have your tap, hold, and release. Uh, you also have two finger uh, tap, hold, and release. Uh, and then if you have a staggered type line that is sort of like a continuous tap, so be aware of those. Um, other uh, commands you'll see on the board are flicks, so just click in the direction that the arrow is pointing. Uh, you also have a flick, hold, and release. Uh, and then the last one that I can remember is a green squiggly line where you tap uh, and then sort of scratch back and forth. Uh, and then release at the uh, end of that uh, particular segment. And apart from the regular notes that you'll see on the track, you also have these ablib uh, type uh, track um, button presses, uh, which are just hidden. So if you get them, they'll just add to your score. Uh, but if you miss one, it doesn't sort of break the chain that you're on. Uh, and then at the end, based on how well you click on these buttons and taps and whatnot, your score is accumulated, and uh, hopefully you get a decent one at the end. So yeah, this is how I sort of enjoy this type of music game. And at least it's not just, you know, notes coming down on a track, which most of them tend to be nowadays. Not too bad for this, but we'll go through some other songs. Uh, I will cut the vocal, um, the voiceover, and we'll just sort of, I'll just sort of show you the tracks as I recorded them, uh, warts and all, and uh, we'll pick it up. I'll see you guys back at the other end.
And that was our retro quick play of Groove Coaster 2 original style. If you have a mobile device and this looks to um, pique your fancy any, uh, you can probably still find it for free in the app stores. If you enjoyed this video, hit me up with a like, leave me a comment, and let me know, you know if you would like to see more retro style mobile, mobile gaming uh, videos in the future just to sort of 
see where the series sort of had its roots. Uh, and subscribe to my channel for more mobile gaming goodness, because you'll never know what I'll be playing next. This has been Shen Virtuality. Game on, have fun, and I'll catch you in the next one. Thanks for watching, everyone. Bye.